Assalamu alaikum guys, do you remember this headline? Yes, calling somebody a jihadi whose very idea of jihad is pooping and vomiting at the same time. And we were of course anticipating a sequel to this foolishness and boy they did not disappoint. Douche. <laughs> A four-year-old Muslim boy was referred to the government's anti-extremism program after he made a few comments about a video game at an after-school club. EA Sports It's only a game, why do you have to be mad? This is becoming more and more ridiculous frankly, yeah? more ridiculous than the Labour Party hiring an ex-Israeli spy. Why? 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 Yes, more ridiculous than the head of the BBC being a long-term donor to the Conservative Party. Why? And yes, more ridiculous than ice cream getting the coronavirus. All right, maybe not the last one, yeah. Lol. I really want to make this clear, yeah. So you got this kid who's decided to stay at school after school has ended, just so he can play video games. I mean, just let that sink in for a while, yeah. I mean this kid deserves our sympathy, he's still at school to play a video game but there was no mercy by this teacher, the teacher went full on Boris Johnson on him yeah. I mean it's clear that this club teacher has got the IQ of a toenail. <laughs> she's clearly unhappy with her life because she's still at school after school has ended when she should be at home getting divorced. She seems like the type that would call the fire brigade just to switch off the cooker. And this is not to mention guys that this is not the only case. In fact statistically 624 cases of under sixes, let that sink in, have been put forward to the government anti-extremism program yeah which is known as PREVENT. No one's saying. And ages six to nine 1,405 kids have been put forward. Dang. What on earth does this do to the mind of a child frankly? That you can't even play a game after school without the teacher thinking that you're planning some mastermind terrorism scheme or whatnot. Go blow yourself up! How rude! <laughs> At least say please. Now when the law enforcers are focused more on four-year-old gamers as opposed to corrupt politicians, bankers, arms industry, big pharma, homelessness, unemployment, nah forget all that mate, let's see what four-year-old Bilal is doing when he's trying to clock the first level of Fortnite. And let's not forget the chief of Prevent who used to be part of the think tank the Henry Jackson Society who were clearly biased and Islamophobic. And even this bloke right here has said some Islamophobic stuff in the past. So he's about as reliable as a meat-eating vegan frankly, who's allergic to meat. Wait, that's not for now. what's going on? Boris is Britain <laughs> strikes again. Anyways guys, I know some of you guys were wondering why I haven't uploaded a video for quite some time. I've been trying to focus more on the animations so I put one up before this video, please check it out, support it so I can create more. They're very expensive to make and they're very time consuming and I will try to get the next one up inshallah in a week's time on the topic of evolution. Anyway let's leave it there until next time guys. Did you do 9-11? What? If I did 9-11 mate I'd be dead. Well at least I'd be in a better disguise. You think MI5 wouldn't be able to find me and you'd be able to find me. Come on mate. What's happening to the National Secret Service, huh? Assalamu alaikum.